All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise all and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Makak Wadash. The Bible says, Apostle and Elders, the great millstone, petition us, the Bible says, truth, according to the Bible, rule well, and peace and blessings, self elect of the nation of Israel, take the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, wing into the Lord's uh, willing and the fine lesson on stirring up, you know, your treasure, you know, in the heavens. You know, and a treasure is something you hold, you know, uh, sacred, something that has value. It says uh, valuable objects, uh, riches. It says a, a, a quantity of precious metals, gems, or other valuable uh, objects. You see, and, you know, down here upon the earth, you know, if you have gold, riches, you know, you have to labor for those things, you know, oftentimes you have to labor, you know, even to enter into an inheritance, right? So, Yahweh by Shema Shai wants us to labor, you know, and as we labor, you know, do it with the intent of laying up our treasures in heaven. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 19. It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and uh, rust do of corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moss nor rough do do corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your treasure is there will your heart be also you see so what we hold a uh, valuable you know our treasure if our treasure was down here upon the earth then our mind would be, you know, of things of the earth. But since our treasure, you know, is, you know, uh, in the kingdom of heaven, you know, the world to come, the kingdom, which will be established down here upon the earth. But our, our mind is upon these scriptures and the promises, you know, of riches that will befall the elect of Yah by Shema Shai, the promises you know, whether those riches, you know, physical riches, mercy, you know, all these things are going to befall the elect of Yahweh by Shema Shai. So that's where our treasure is. That's what, you know, that's where our mind is in these scriptures and the promises in the future to come. You see, and not a future here in America. Colossians 3 and 1, if ye then be risen with the Mashiach seek those things which are from above you know and this wisdom you know came from the heavens you know and that is what you know our desire our mind is fixated upon you know that's this is what we constantly think about you know doing the will of Yah by Shema Shai, you know and performing it you know to the best of our ability it says if he then be risen with the Mashiach, you see, we've been quickened in the spirit of our minds. You see, we've been risen. We've risen from thinking as an everyday uh, Babylonian, an everyday American, to think upon how the true uh, sons of God are supposed to, uh, uh, you know, their mindset. You see, this is what we've risen to. It says, seek those things which are above, you know, that word seek means to try to uh, obtain, try to find, you know, put some work in to get those things which are above, you see, which is this knowledge. It says, where a Mashiach sit on the right hand of the Most High. You see, set your affections on things above and not on things on the earth. You see, when Yahweh Shai, when he was on the earth, he came with a mission you know, and once he has completed that mission and fulfilled all the things, you know, that, uh, you know, was needful for him to fulfill, right? He is now sitting with his reward. He now has his uh, riches where he is the right hand of the Heavenly Father. You see, so any type of, you know, status that you can receive by man the status you know that the heavenly father is going to give you as far greater you see we are you know working for uh yahweh by shema shai you know this is a uh, saint luke 2 and um verse 49 it says 
And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wint ye not that must be about my father's business? You know, so this is the mindset, you know, of Yahweh Shai. To be about uh, his father's business. You see? To be about, you know, working towards, you know, uh, 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 you know, for riches in the heavens, you know, that will come in the kingdom of heaven, you see? Um, because, you know, as we see this world crumble, you know, it should be, you know, a great relief, you know, for us that we have not invested our time and our energy, you know, and what little resources we have to build anything up here. Because as the Lord said, Esau, Edom, he shall build, you know, but the heavenly father, he said he would throw down, you see, it says, uh, this is a uh, first Timothy six and six. It says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Yeah, being content, whether, you know, we have little or much, you know, um, our righteousness, you know, is, is far greater. You see, godliness with being content with what we have here, because we understand that we are seeking uh, a content. Here we have no continual city, but we are seeking one to come. You see? It says, but godliness with contentment is a great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it, is certain, and it is certain we can carry nothing out of it. You see, so it's certain, you know, without, you know, a shadow of a doubt, because we understand the, the prophecies of Yah by Shema Shai, that uh, Babylon, which is America, according to the Holy Scriptures, is going to be burnt up by thermonuclear fire. And uh, nothing we have on this side, you know, is going to make it out of that destruction. You see, not even these uh, bodies that we are in, you know, and that may sound extreme. That might sound crazy, but that's the faith that the men of Yahweh, by Shemel Shai and the believers will have, you know. It says, but <clears throat> let me get this last scripture. This is, um. Read that one more time. This is a uh, first Timothy 6 and 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry uh, nothing out. And having therefore food and raiment, let us be there with content. You see, so having our uh, daily bread, you know, our food, you know, some clothes on our back. You know, let's be with content. We're just pilgrims, you know, and pilgrims, they don't have much. You know, they have a, this thing, a, 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 you know, a, you know, a label because everything has labels in this, in this society as a, a minimalist, you know, and in a sense, we are a minimalist. You know, brothers can look that up. I'll give a broad uh, definition. It basically means having, you know, just enough to get by, you know. I've been called a minimalist, you know, um, you know, might not, you know, just be content with the clothes on your back, you might not, might go a couple years without buying clothes, you know, just keep what you got in good shape, you know, buy a pair of shoes here and there, you know, from, from, from the, you know, really from, uh, rack rooms, you feel me, this is, uh, Proverbs, uh, 30 and 9, it says, least, uh, I'm sorry, verse 8, it says, remove, you know, I could have kept written down in Matthews in there, but I'm trying to stay on the point of our, the mindset of Yahweh Shai, you know, and stirring up treasures in heaven, you know, we should be keeping our eyes single, our eye on the prize, you know, and yes, you know, if you're being rich, that's how you keep, that's how you get distracted, that's how you keep your eye from being single, you know, because you fall into diverse temptations, and the temptations that America offer are comforts. You know, we are a soldiers. You know, in this, in the, you know, spiritual soldiers, like as spiritual soldiers. You know, as we fight this spiritual uh, warfare, you see the battle of the mind. This is Proverbs thirty and eight. I'm gonna start verse seven. Two things have I required of thee: deny me, the, deny me not. The deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies. You know, and that's all America, you know, has to offer. You know, which, you know, we don't desire vanity. We don't desire uh, to be lied to just to be, you know, feeling comfortable. 
you see give me neither poverty nor riches you see we don't want poverty you know nobody wants to be you know down and out you know scraping 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 change off the street right it says give me neither poverty nor riches you know and you know we have the mindset of Yahweh Shai to be uh, uh, not content with riches you see not you know really desirable riches you know Yahweh Shai you know say he was made poor for our sakes you know, I just quote the scripture. I won't really go into it. It says, and it, and it reads, or at least it says, um, give me food convenient for me, right? Just give me enough, Yah by Shema Shai. And that's what we're praying uh, for, uh, to Yah by Shema Shai, our Lord, for. It says, least I be fool and deny thee. See, it sums it up. Least I be fool and deny thee. And say who is the Lord, right? And we don't want to do that. We understand how great Yahweh by Shema Shai is, and we understand that you know we are you know solely dependent on the mercy of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, anyone who denies him are, are not going to receive that mercy, right? It says, or at least I be poor and take the name. I'm sorry, and still and take the name of my God in vain. You see. And, you know, we don't want Yah by Shema Shai, you know, to look bad by doing something we shouldn't do, you see? And ultimately, you know, the Lord is with us, you know, and for brothers who are, you know, seeking the kingdom of Yah by Shema Shai and his righteousness, uh, you understand that. And we'll close out on that right there. This is uh, St. Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first, right? That has to be first, first thing, first thing on your list, right? priority list you, know, you got five things the number one thing is seeking first the kingdom of the most high the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness right following his ways and all of these things shall be added onto you you know the food the rain the shelter you know i know personal testimony whenever i need anything the lord uh, always makes a way you know but you know lord's willing you know uh you know brothers understand whenever i need something not when i want something whenever i need something yahaba shema shai is there to make a way you know you just have to make that very clear with that uh lord's willing you're edified i'm gonna say uh the wali yahaba shema shai for allowing me to do this lesson i'm gonna give all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rakakwadash the bar of the apostle it was a great most honor teaching us to understand the truth according to the Bible real well. And peace and blessings to the collective of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.